Thank you, Francesca, for your introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'd like to start by thanking Anne and Yap for your very kind invitation uh, to allow me to present a little bit of the work that I've been doing together with my uh, research group and also the local organizers for organizing such a welcoming and efficient uh, conference. Uh, so in these days where uh, Watson and uh, Big Data and Deep Learning are all over the news, AI is still playing a uh, very significant important role, often behind the scenes, in systems where statistical methods are perhaps not the right way to go. And um, in these systems, uh, the key aspect that you can uh, perhaps uh, the common aspect between them is that instead of data, instead of statistics, what you need is knowledge. And what you need is sound reasoning with a knowledge base instead of just processing statistically huge amounts of uh, data. Uh, so, with, uh, within this realm of knowledge-based systems, perhaps one of the most important initiatives over the last 15 years or so was uh, the so-called Semantic Web Initiative. So, this is uh, an initiative that was led by the World Wide Web Consortium, and its main goal was to somehow standardize the technologies needed to move the World Wide Web from a syntactic, essentially syntactic entity, where things was just syntax without real meaning, into one where you could publish, together with your syntactic notions, you could actually annotate them semantically, ultimately with the goal of being able to reason with all this information that's available on the web. So this was an initiative that was launched by Tim Berners-Lee a few years ago, and maybe over the last 15 years, it's where the biggest push was done. And of the, many, uh, uh, of the many developments that uh, emerged and resulted from this Semantic Web initiative, one of them is perhaps the, the one that's actually a trigger for new kinds of applications, and it's so-called the linked open data. So based on the fact that we now have standardized ways to represent knowledge on the web, it meant that producers of knowledge in the world, suddenly they could actually produce and publish their knowledge in a language that could be automatically understood, but perhaps even more important than being published in a language that could be understood by machines is the fact that these knowledge bases can be semantically linked to other knowledge bases. And so, as a result, what we now have is a huge graph of knowledge bases which are semantically interlinked between them and, of course, then can be exploited use by new classes of knowledge-based systems. 